This is the iPad and this is a Mac. And today we're diving into something that has been heavily requested from my subscribers. If you've been around my channel for a while, then you already know I have replaced my Mac with the iPad Pro for over a year now. Pretty much every video that I make is about taking productivity to the next level. But I know that for a lot of people, the Mac is still a crucial part of their workflow and not everyone can just rely on the iPad the way I do. And that's totally fair. And for quite some time, I have been receiving tons of questions asking how to use both devices, the iPad and the Mac together. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn your iPad and Mac into a productivity dream team. We're gonna cover the best features, workflow tips, and a few hidden tricks that make your setup feel seamless, whether you're a student, creative, or a professional. So without any further ado, Let's jump right in. The first thing I wanna talk about is Sidecar, which is in my opinion, the most obvious, yet still a very underrated feature that people often forget about. You see, we live in a day and age where we prefer larger screens to view more content and workflows. Almost everyone who works professionally uses an external monitor. Heck, some even use augmented reality headsets for an even larger and immersive experience. And with Sidecar, you can turn your iPad into a full secondary display for your Mac. Think of it like carrying an extra monitor in your bag and it works beautifully. To enable this feature, click the AirPlay icon on your Mac and just select your iPad. And boom, you're extending your desktop wirelessly. So rather than cluttering your Mac with tons of documents and applications open, you can now extend it over to your iPad. For an example, you could be on Safari researching stuff and be taking notes on the iPad. And also just drag other apps from your Mac like Finder over to the iPad's display. Oh, and the Apple Pencil still works as well on the iPad when you have your display extended. You can literally be dragging your Mac applications with your Apple Pencil on the iPad, super cool. For individuals who are traveling or always on the go, this is absolutely amazing. For an example, my wife works from home and is a lot more productive when she has her Mac connected to an external monitor. So whenever my wife and I go to coffee shops to do work, she loves using her iPad as her extended monitor for being productive. And the best part is, is that it works seamlessly. And aside from extending the display of your Mac, you can also mirror the display if that's what you prefer. But remember, this works only if you are on the same Wi-Fi network. But you see a lot of Mac users wish that they could take just their iPad for when they travel and still access their Mac like with Sidecar, but remotely. Well, guess what? You can now do that. With today's sponsor, Deskin, you can fully control your desktop from your iPad and the connection is insanely fast. We're talking ultra low latency, no lag, and a super clean interface that just works. It's perfect for when you're away from your desk or traveling and still need access to your computer. But here's the game changer. You can send files between your iPad, iPhone, and computer with no size limits, no system restrictions, literally just drag, drop, and you're done. It's smooth, stable, and works across platforms. Also, you can turn your iPad into a second monitor. So if you're editing a video, researching, or managing files, you can use that extra screen real estate anywhere. No cables, no setup, it just works wirelessly. Oh, and if you're a gamer, you will love it as Deskin even lets you play PC games on your iPad. You can use a customized on-screen keyboard or a controller and it still runs smoothly with ultra low latency. It's wild seeing desktop level gaming right on the iPad's display. You also don't need to worry about security as Deskin offers comprehensive security settings, including new device login verification, whitelist and blacklist, and more. And if you're really concerned about others seeing the activity on your display, then you can even enable a privacy screen, which is pretty cool. And what really stands out is how stable the connection is. No random drops, no commercial restrictions, and it's super affordable as well if you go for the premium version. So if you wanna take your iPad setup to the next level, Try out Deskin. I'll leave the link down in the description below. It is the smoothest way to keep your devices connected no matter where you are. All right, now we're gonna talk about something that's my personal favorite, universal control. This feature lets you use one keyboard and trackpad to control your Mac and iPad at once. Just drag your cursor across and suddenly all your devices feel like one system. Here's some examples for how you can use it. Highlight or type notes on your iPad and jump back to editing or project management on your Mac. Drag an image from the Mac into the iPad to start editing it. Copy text or screenshots from one device and paste directly on the other, no airdrop needed. To set it up, go to your Mac, system settings, go to displays and turn on universal control. And on the iPad, go into settings, then general, 
airplay and handoff, and turn on cursor and keyboard. Just arrange your devices based on how it's set up and you're ready to go. It's smooth, fast, and honestly, very satisfying. And if you're a content creator, a student, or a multitasker, this feature will change how you work. Now let me go over a few quick tricks to make your iPad and Mac workflow even better. So first I'm gonna talk about the Apple Pencil. You see with the Apple Pencil, you get quite a few gestures, but what's really cool is that if you double tap it, you can switch through various different tools. You also get hover support on the Apple Pencil, which allows you to hover for precise selection or drawing. And what I really enjoy on the Mac and the iPad is Quick Note where you just swipe from the bottom right to jot ideas instantly while working. So you don't have to go around looking for the notes app all the time. And with continuity camera, you can use your iPad as your max high quality webcam for calls and recording. You see the latest M series chips on both the Mac and the iPad bring huge improvements. They're ready for Apple intelligence and Siri upgrades, meaning smarter workflows, on-device AI features, and faster multitasking. So if you're upgrading your device soon, aim for devices with the latest neural engine for maximum future-proofing. So there you have it. Combining the iPad with the Mac gives you the power of Mac OS for heavy tasks, the creativity and flexibility of iPad OS, and the seamless integration of both that makes multitasking, content creation, and workflow organization an absolute breeze it takes your Apple ecosystem next level. And even though I am a iPad only user, this setup will dramatically speed up editing, design and admin tasks for a lot of people. And if you have both a Mac and an iPad, spend a weekend setting this up and you'll see exactly what I mean. And also let me know your thoughts or any tips that you have that you could share possibly in the comment section below. And also let me know which device do you own, a Mac, an iPad or both. And of course, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so. Check out my next video to see how I keep my setup simple yet insanely productive and I'll catch you in the next one.